to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to do circular patterns as well as how to add a thread. Um, so it's going to be a die thread that we cut. Also what we'll be looking at is um, it's just another basic revolve um, with all these extra fe features included. So first thing first let's just start off with our part. So our part we can just view our planes so like I've said, it's a revolve. It's just a basic revolve. So I'm going to sketch on the front plane. The reason I'm sketching on a front plane, if you look at this model, that is actually a front plane. So I'm just going to sketch half of that shape. So from there to there, half of that shape. I'm just going to revolve it. And then I'm going to add this drafted cutout on top of it. Okay, so I said I'm going to sketch from the center. That shape. I'm going to add these two little lines here. One line there, one line there, just to make sure it's square. I'm going to go to trim entities. Always click trim to closest. It's just easier using that one. The other ones also do work, but this one, personally, I feel it's the easiest one. And you just select the line. You just select the line that you want to remove. Now I'm just going to add some dimensions. That should be five. That should be five. All these dimensions, remember, I get it from here. So five, five that angle is 60 degrees and the whole length of that is 60 the thickness the whole thickness is 25 let's just go back so from there to there should be 60 that distance there should be 25 just make sure that one sits exactly in half so it's 25 divided by 2 and then also this distance here should be 60 there we go Okay, it's, it's fully defined, so we can actually revolve this. The last thing that we need to remember is always remember with a revolve. If you want to revolve around something, just always, you know, add a center line. There's other methods of doing this, but, you know, adding a center line, it's the easiest. So if I added a center line on the vertical axis, it just means it's going to revolve around the vertical axis. If I added a center line on the horizontal axis, it means it's going to revolve around the horizontal. So just, just keep that in mind. So features, then I go to features because my sketch is complete. Then I go to the one that says revolve base. As soon as you select a revolve base, it automatically selects your center line. So most of the time it works like that. Um, and you just say yes. So there's our rotational or revolve uh, V-shape pulley, as you can say. Okay, so the next step would be now to actually insert this drafted extrusion on top. Actually, as you can see, this drafted extrusion, it's, it goes up 50 millimeters and the top layer it's 20 millimeters in diameter and the bottom layer it's 50 millimeters in diameter so just keep that in mind so in this calculating this or, or, or designing it um, there's a certain angle that you go from here to there so there's, there's a draft angle that you go so it might be 30 degrees 20 degrees whatever so you have to actually go and you have to calculate this drafted angle um, so it's just basic um, science so as you can see here what I actually did is I took that whole drawing, drew it like this. So that is the shape that it is, 50 at the bottom, 20 at the top. And then each side it should be 15, 15 just to give you that 50. Then that length, the height is 50, it's also given. That we know it's 90 degrees and then we just have that um, angle that we need to calculate. So by calculating that angle, it makes everything much easier. So we just use, we're actually doing here is we're saying tan x it's 15 over 50. To give us that angle so we just say x equals then 16.7 degrees if you calculate it using a, uh, a scientific calculator so that's basically how we calculated that angle so just to get back to the solidworks part so now we're just going to do the draft at all i'm going to cut on top of this so i'm going to say i'm going to create a circle that circle should be there the bottom edge remember i said it's 50 in diameter so i'm going to create features needs to be extrusion remember now I said that extrusion goes also up 50 but now it's drafted so you have to select this feature here draft on off so you select on now it says it's drafted at 20 degrees remember we calculated it was 16.7 degrees why 16.7 because this is 50 at the bottom so that should be then 20 diameter at the top only reason for that is when we create thread you get m20 on those sizes so we just don't create a standard thread if you go to a higher degree 
the smaller it becomes so it might be instead of 20 it might be 16 or so on so that's just the thing we're trying to avoid um, so and that's it then you just say yes and there's your drafted extrusion so it's easy as that so just to look at the image again it goes up 50 starts off at 50 here and then 20 on top it ends at 20 on top okay the angle is not giving so you actually go and calculate the angle like we did here so just make sure of that you can just pause here again if you missed that step okay so after this there's a next step there's the small little extrusion on top of that um, draft cut so that extrusion is 59 and 20 in diameters so how are we going to do this we're just going to go right click there normal to sketch we want to create a circle cutout it should also be 10 radius so it means it should also be 20 in diameter 20 and you just say yes so features extruded boss only goes up 15 as you can see only 15 and you just say yes and there's your extrusion for just a cylinder or cylindrical shape extrusion now let's just go back to the drawing there's still one or two features we need to add so the first feature i'm going to add before i get to the thread is this cutouts here as you can see it says you have 10 millimeter holes with eight circles so it's eight circles with a pcd of 80 millimeters that pcd just means pitch circle diameter so it just means the radius from the center which this diameter or oh sorry the diameter from the center which these two circles are apart so it's just 80 mil so the radius would be obviously off of that which is 40 mils okay so how do you actually do a circular pattern so it's not as difficult as it looks so what i'm just going to just going to right click normal to sketch i'm going to create a circle here a circle cutout that circle remember it should be 10 and there's eight of them so before we get to the rest we first need to add from that center to that one should be the radius so it's not a pitch circle diameter which is 80 so it's 80 divided by 2 to, just to give you the radius then you say features you first have to cut this one hole before you can do a circular pattern so you're, you're doing a circular pattern of the feature so i'm going to say extruded cut i'm going to make sure this cut goes through all i say yes there you see it's through all now i'm just going to go and say circular pattern circular pattern why do i want to pattern what feature i want to pattern that feature i want what direction do i want to pattern this now you just need to select any round edge please make sure it's an edge you can't select the surface need to be a round edge edge so anyone would be fine and it won't always automatically do this i've pre-selected these things before so usually it says there's one usually it says there's one and it says instant spacing so if you know the spacing between one another you can space them and you can say 360 degrees divide by eight will give you that distance but if you don't know you just say equal spacing and you want eight of those holes because there's eight circles and you just say yes and there's all your holes being cut exactly at the same time so just 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 make life much easier and quicker to do this and then the last step would now be in this drawing is to add that thread on that section so if you quickly look at this thread on this drawing so the thread says here it's 1.5 the pitch or whatever you may call it and it also says the distance when it drops down from there to there it's 10 it's not given here but i know it's 10 because i've designed this so it's 10 millimeters so let's just go back so where exactly do we do this so just to give an idea is we actually go to here it says hole wizard you click the drop down arrow below it you say you want to create a thread you say yes you know that it says here select an edge of the cylinder so that cylinder you want to create thread it automatically selects some thread for you so the only thing that happens now here is you can play around here with the end conditions how many rotations and whatever you want um, so then you can always select here it says select the surface you want to start from so you can always say you need to start from the top or maybe from here or wherever you want to select the other thing would be is to go here to specifications you have to actually if you depend on america or south africa in south africa we work with metric die or if you're in america you'll use inch die depending on what standards you use okay then the size remember now that diameter of that cylinder it's 20 millimeters so obviously we'll select something then in a the range of 20 so you get i think three different ones you get 220 
times 1.5 20 times 2 and then 20 times 2.5 and in a drawing we've actually had 20 point times 1.5 just the pitch that we created and then after that that's basically it then you just need to select the distance you want this thing to drop down so that distance you actually get from yeah i'll show you now so in a revolution you get the distance or you can go to blind and you can add the distance there so maybe you just want the distance just to be 10 millimeters so it drops down just 10 millimeters so it depends if we give you revolutions then you select the um, total revolutions or if we say up to a certain section so if you say up to selection you want to go all the way to there you can do that as well so just remember that and then after that everything's complete you just say okay create your thread if you zoom in you'll see your thread is created so it goes down 10 millimeters just make sure of that so basically that's it from my side today um, that's how we do um, circular pattern as well as thread cutting um, if there's anything else you would like to see you can just leave a comment or you can subscribe for some future videos and thank you once again for watching <laughs>